Hey, how are we doing again today? And here's Jazzio with another 3D Max tutorial. These are actually just tips and tricks for this one right here. We're going to do a couple of those right now, which is adding more keyframes, whether you want to slow things down or let them move longer, or if you want to just add keyframes for additional movements and just maybe a couple other little things in here. So actually, let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm going to go ahead and create a plane. Let's go ahead and make that 200 by 200. And I'll hit Alt W to get the full screen mode. And what I'm doing is I'm using a, the little scroll wheel on my mouse to move this up. I'm actually going to change this white to make it easier to see. Now let's go ahead and create a sphere. We'll make one little one right there. And let's bring it up around a bit. So okay, now we're gonna go ahead and just do some automatic keyframes. So let's say we we set that auto key here. If you saw me, actually, let's do that again. So I'm gonna hit auto key, and I'll just move this all the way to a hundred, and come back here and move my my um sphere right there. So as you notice, it made another keyframe additionally over there. So if we go back, we're going to play it out, and that's how it moves. So let's say you want to add keyframes. What you can do is go to this little clock on the side over here, and notice you have start time and length time. Let's change this to 200 and hit OK. And notice that it's changed. It's added a few more keyframes. So if we come here. If you want to move it, make it longer so it runs slower, you can either move this, and now let's look at this and see how slow it moves. Pretty slow. Or if we want to add some additional frames, what we could do is auto key again. And then you just move it to where you'd like it to be keyed at. Let's move it up here and let's do something slick. We'll actually make it go smaller and move it. And then let's say 200. We'll bring it back here and make it larger again. Let's cut that off and now let's look at our animation. Look at that. There you go. So that's pretty much a quick, easy step in making more keyframes. And, um, Another thing, let's say if you want to, if you think you're going to do some changes, but you're not sure what is going to, that you're not sure if you're going to end up needing to go back, you can actually come up to file and what you would do over here, actually you would do hold. Hold basically just lets you, it lets it remember the last thing you did. So let's say we come over here, let's go mess this all up. Um, let's say I go like this, this here. Move this around. Um, just kind of screwing this all up to make it get my point around. We'll spin it around. Okay, so let's look at our animation here. Kind of slick, huh? So let's say you went and did all this kind of work. You weren't really happy with what you had. What you do is go back to edit. And let me move this to a keyframe so we can see the difference. You can just come back to edit and do fetch. And it will actually take you back to where you began. See, so everything is pretty much clean right there. You notice the keyframes aren't showing here. All you have to do is just click on it once and you see your keyframes. Then another tool, if you just want to reset your whole screen, you can do um, reset right up here. You can save your changes if you if not. If you don't want to but I'll just do no and then there you go you reset so basically that's it it's just a little quick couple quick tips over here so I hope you're able to use it and work a little bit more fluently in your work all right thank you